Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing the question number four for the CKE exam 2025. So we're managing a WordPress app running the cluster and we have to scale down the WordPress deployment to zero replicas so we can adjust the pull resource and limits to ensure stable operation. We have to edit the deployment and divide no resources, assign fair and equal CPU and memory, sufficient overhead to avoid no instability, and after making the changes, scale the deployment back to three replicas. Okay, now let's go ahead and verify that we have the deployment. So we're gonna use the command k get deployment. K get deployment. And as you can see, we have three replicas. So let's scale the deployment to zero using k scale deploy WordPress replicas zero. Okay, and as you can see, we have zero replicas. So now we're gonna describe the node 01 so we can see how much CPU is allocatable and how much memory we can use. So as you can see here, we got CPU one. So one stands for one gigabyte and we have the memory in kilobytes. So the memory, we have to pass it to maybe bytes. Okay, so for that, we're gonna do express, just paste the memory that we have and we're gonna divide this by 1024. And as you can see here, this is what we have 1868 for megabytes. It stands for MI. Okay, so now let's see how much memory we're using right now. And as you can see, it's 50 MI, 50 MI. So that's 100. So what we're gonna do is the command express 1868 minus 100. So we have 1768 available but we have to do the 10 percent overhead so the command will be in the asterisk 1768 and we're going to multiply this by 0 0.10 and this is important we have to add the bc for basic calculator and as you can see we have 176 so let's do 1768 minus 176 and as you can see here we have allocatable memory 1592 so let's divide this by three parts or three replicas because that's what we have right now and we will have 530 for memory maybe bytes for each part Okay, let's go ahead and write this on the notepad because we want to see the information all the time so we don't mess up. So we're going to do 500 megabytes for the memory. I know it's 530, but let's round it up. And overhead of 10%. So the overhead that we had is 176. So let's put here 176. And now that we have the memory, we're going to do the CPU. So I'm going to clear this and describe again. Okay. Okay, so let's do full screen for this one. So CPU one, so one gigabyte, as I said before, stands for a thousand megabytes. So remember, memory is megabytes and CPU is megabytes. So we got CPU here, we're using 25, 50, 50. So that's 125. We're gonna do express thousand minus 125. Okay, so that's 875. So let's do the overhead for this one. Same as we did before is 875. And you multiply this by 0 0.10 using BC basic calculator. So we got 87.50, so we're gonna do 87. So it will be 875 minus 87. So this is the allocatable that we have, the total allocatable for the for each part. So no for the for other parts. So it's 788 divided by 3. So it's 262, but we're gonna do 250. Okay, so we just put here 250 and overhead of 10%. That was um, 8750, something like that. So 250 
megabytes for each pod and we did a 10% overhead and that's as 87. So what we're gonna do now is we have to edit the deployment, okay? So as the question says, we have to add a limit and a request. So if the limit, no, sorry. If the request is 500, we're gonna put the limit 600, okay? And CPU, if the, um, if the request is 250, we're gonna do a limit of 300 megabytes. Okay, let's finish putting 300 here. So 300 and we got all the information right here. So what we're gonna do now is edit the deployment, WordPress, and you're gonna go down in the part where it says resources. Okay, so we got one here. We got two actually, but let's, let's put this here. Okay, so resources, you delete this and we're gonna add, let me put this bigger so you can see where I'm writing. Okay, let's do the first one here, resources, you delete this and you put requests. Request, okay, you're gonna start with CPU. So CPU is 250 megabytes and memory. So memory is 500 megabytes. So let's put 500 MI, so you gotta be aware of the caps and as you can see when you put maybe by the m gotta be capital letter so let's put the limit here cpu gonna be 300 megabytes and the memory gonna be 600 maybe bytes okay as you can see when we put megabytes for the cpu the m is not a capital letter okay so gotta be aware of that in exam so I'm gonna put here the same thing and in the exam so i recommend you when you edit the deployment and you have like three resources two resources just write the info of the cpu and memory in other resources that the exam has other deployment okay so for example here we got two resources so that's why i'm i'm doing the cpu request in the two resources but if you have more in the exam just do it like that so let's put the limit here just same as we did before cpu is 300 megabytes and the memory is 600 megabytes okay so everything looks fine uh, let me see we got one here okay looks okay and let's see we got the other one here so as you can see it's the same thing Okay, so it's actually easy. The only thing you gotta be aware too is that when you're calculating the overhead and all the CPU. So as you can see, where did the deployment? So let's go ahead and scale the deployment back to three replicas as the question said. So we're gonna do K scale WordPress deploy or K scale deploy WordPress minus minus replicas three. So let's go and describe this now, as you can see we got the three replicas so everything looks fine now we're gonna see more detailed information about it i'm sorry that was a typo okay so we, what we got here we got the limits okay this looks right we got the request and here the same thing Okay, everything looks perfect and this will be it for this video guys thank you so much for the support and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel